feedback. It was a good visit to Las Vegas, Nevada for uh, several days, man, for work. But my wife filled the garage up with a bunch of donation crap. I have not been home for almost a full week. Time for a couple of cold starts this morning. Let's start with a Z. <laughs> Try the queue. I was gonna take the Z to get some coffee, but it's wet and shitty outside, so we're just gonna take the queue since it's dirty and the Z is clean. Ooh, this thing's loud. The queue just sounds perfect. Idol is just right on the money. Sounds like spring again. The <laughs> birds are chirping and it's warm actually this morning, 60 degrees. It actually feels a little bit humid. Let's roll. One thing I forgot to do is kind of do a little walk around inspection of this thing. It's been sitting for a week outside. I want to make sure nobody's giving me any door dings or uh, scratches or intentionally keep the car or something dumb. Looks good, just dirty. Feels good to be driving the queue again, but it's always nice to get home to a vehicle with no gas. Gotta love it. Sort of a long way to go just to get Dunkin', but I haven't had Dunkin' Donuts in over a week. I need some cold brew with some cold foam. We're gonna see if they got the vanilla cream donut back yet. I know there's a lot of stuff going on around about Dunkin' not being fresh and whatnot, but I just can't resist it dead right now too you know Las Vegas is three hours behind South Carolina I've been there for a week so finally fell asleep last night at about three o'clock in the morning which would have been midnight Las Vegas time but I still got up at seven o'clock this morning because we're back on the east coast running on four hours of sleep it's no good yes they had them back a couple of things i need to get done today oh i just ate two vanilla cream donuts and i feel terrible first i want to get i gotta find my gopro so i want to get a visual under the car and see how my sketchy rear diff bushing repair is holding up where the hell is my gopro just took this thing on a little rip -a -roo. I said, screw it with the rain. Who cares if it gets dirty? I need to drive it because it's going under the knife here soon. I got to tell you, uh, LSD feels way different than the open diff in the Q50. Uh, I mean, you can whip it around or you can just initiate kind of a little slide and it's so much easier to control. It's almost like the, the Q, once it breaks loose, and it just, it's gonna whip around on you. It, it, it's just unpredictable, and it depends on which way you go. If you start your turn left or you start your turn right, it, it depends. One way handles much differently than the other. It's just so annoying. Driving this thing makes me feel like, oh man, there's no way I know how to drift. I'm, I'm terrible, I suck at it. But then at the, getting in this thing and, and trying it, it's like, okay, I think I could probably get the hang of it. Not that this thing was ever intended to be a drift car. I kind of wanted it to be a grip car, right? A little bit of autocross, a little bit of um, road course, or, you know, I don't want it to handle well on the corners, but I feel kind of like a drift boy with his bash bar on it. We didn't test out to see how that epoxy is working. You can see where it bulged uh, that bottom cavity back out. So it's still full in there, but we're going to see if we got any clay, any chatter in there. So we got the... <laughs> We got the uh, GoPro hooked up. Video. There it is. Ooh. I'm just out of curiosity. I want to see what the diff brace does and how uh, the diff bushing looks on the Z.
maybe it's starting to clear up a little. I'm gonna run over to Harbor Freight and pick up some quality tools. Got some projects coming up, so need a few things, you know what I mean? Can't wait to start editing this video and see what the rear dip bushing footage looks like. I'm pretty excited. I already got to swap out the dip bushing on the Z, so definitely don't want to do it on the Q as well. I'm not going to do any pulls to test this diff bushing. I'm just going to... Tap the throttle a little bit. So I mentioned a few videos back that I told myself when I got this car that I would drive it until 75,000 miles. And as you guys know, we just hit the 70,000 mile point. So, you know, I'm thinking about some things and it's not a guarantee that I'll get rid of this car. It's kind of what I told myself originally, but now that we've put so much time and effort and money and, you know, built the channel on this car, it's kind of hard to let it go. But anyway, bringing that point up, a lot of people, of course, have been telling me, oh, you should get the new Z, you should get the new Z. But I, I can tell you that I am definitely, probably, most likely not going to get the new Z, maybe. Now, there are a few reasons that I can tell you with... 99.9 .9, okay 70 65 58 percent certainty that i'm not going to get the new z a couple of these reasons mesh together and i'm sure most of you will understand but I'll, I'll say right away it's so hard as a normal person to get a car brand new and start modifying it right away knowing that you're going to have issues with warranty problems that that pop up and because it is, although, you know, it's based on a, an existing platform, the 3.0T, it's different. Uh, you know, there's been changes. There's a, a new transmission going in this car. Uh, there's a new rear end. There's new electronics. It's a new car, right? I mean, it's based on a, an older platform or a pre-existing platform, but it's new. And it's the first series, the first generation of this new Z. And there's bound to be problems. And getting a brand new car that's forty thousand dollars and you know pulling parts off putting new parts on tuning making a bunch of power doing this and that beating on the car there's bound to be issues and they're not going to be cheap to fix because it's new and speaking of the price of this car there's information out there i haven't read all of the details yet but there's been rumblings that the new z is going to be starting out in the 30 you know in the 30 thousands probably high 30s uh, i'm not sure but that's going to be suggested or msrp right manufacturer suggested retail price you know that there is going to be high demand they've been hyping this thing up for years now and finally it's going to be out on showroom floors there's no way dealers are going to sell this thing at msrp it is going to be expensive is it going to fetch supra dollars uh, probably not but I'd imagine it's going to be in the high 40s, low 50s, especially when you get up in the uh, higher trim levels. So paying that much over sticker, that's just not something something I can do. Like mentally, I mean, I just, I can't, I don't, I don't want to do that. It's ridiculous. The new Harbor Freight, we've reached our destination. I tried to come here months ago, but the address that it gives you online takes you to the other side, way back over there. And there was no Harbor Freight. I'm like, what the F? And then I just happened to see the sign. So another reason there's only a, like a 50-50 chance that I'm going to get the new Z right away is because there, the internet is going to be flooded with fresh Z content because all of the, the big dogs, the major players are going to get a hold of this thing, right? I know we're going to see one. I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain at Soho. You're going to see one at Z1. You're going to see some of these bigger YouTubers grab one right away and start modding and dumping a bunch of money into it. You know, there there are a ton of shops. AMS, another one. There's, there's a ton of shops, a ton of people out there that are going to get a hold of these right away and just see what they can get out of them. And it's it, it would be impossible to compete with that. So I'd be hesitant to modify because it's a new $50,000 car that is going to certainly, most certainly have issues that are going to be expensive to fix. The aftermarket is going to take a little while to catch up as well. So a lot of it's going to be trial and error, a little research and development. There's, there's, a, there's going to be a chunk of time where people are doing some crazy things, but a lot of custom work probably. And then to where, you know, the mass market gets a hold of stuff and starts working on these cars. So, you know, just I'm not at that level 
to just jump in and dump thousands of dollars into the into a new vehicle and try to do some crazy things with it. So I'd be competing with, I'd, I'd just be out of my league. Well, let me go in here and see what I can find. We'll check back with the diff bushing, see how that looks in a second. Well, didn't expect that, but we spent over $100 in that freaking store. <laughs> Well, people talk shit about Harbor Freight, and by no means do they offer quality goods. But there are some things that you can save a little bit of money on. A heat gun, for one, it's like $15. I don't need to spend a crazy amount. And the last one I had just burned up on me, but I had that sucker for like eight years with no problems. You can't beat that $15 heat gun that lasts eight years. I mean, you can't even get eight years out of anything these days. What else do we get? I got some rubber gloves. Uh, I got a got a, a, a an impact socket set because i know we're going to be doing uh, rear axles on the z here pretty soon and i need a 32 and uh, this is one of these situations where you can spend 25 dollars on a complete set of these because i'm not a mechanic i don't use these all the time why would i spend a ton of money i'm going to get all of the use that i need out of these bef long before any of them have any issues where i can't use them anymore uh what else i think i got some more shop gloves got a little uh tri plug thing here for running extension cords um more zip ties need those got some metal uh jigsaw blades that i'll need some of these again these are really expensive if you just buy them for, you know dewalt ones or high quality ones these are like 17 dollars uh, what am i going to use them four times that's probably one of the better harbor freights that i've been to they got a ton of stuff in there but anyway, guys, just real quick back to the new Z situation. I've had a lot of people tell me that I should try to go after one, but you know, those are just a few of the reasons that I'm only like 25% likely not going to get one. Don't get me wrong, it'd be super awesome, but newer platform where there's bound to be issues, going to be expensive to modify right up front, especially when you're risking warranty coverage. There's gonna be a bunch of big dogs, a bunch of big players, YouTubers, shops, putting a bunch of money creating a lot of content on these things so I, I just wouldn't really be able to compete in that space right up front and it's going to be selling way over sticker and i'm not interested in that nobody wants to watch me drive around a stock z let's take a look at that rear diff footage now between both of these cars <laughs> bushing good view of the brace you can see where we filled that up with the window urethane but then also did it kind of around the outside edges top and bottom where there's that void that indent we'll see if that holds especially with the diff brace we shouldn't really have we shouldn't have a whole lot of movement so we'll see
results are a little bit surprising. Actually, I thought there'd be a lot less movement in the Z with the rear diff brace from Bell Raceworks. I actually thought there'd be a lot more movement in the Q50 with the blown rear diff bushing. So maybe that's not such a, a big deal now. Maybe that uh, resin or that, um, uh, that epoxy is actually holding up for now. So we're gonna keep an eye on it, keep an eye on things. There's no wheel hop or anything weird right now, no weird clunking. Uh, but we don't want it to get worse so we'll keep an eye on things both of these the z if you stay tuned that's going to be getting a rear diff bushing set here in the very near future anyway it's lots to come for the 350z more stuff coming for the q50 i got a couple of fun videos planned uh, for the q and for the z as well so stick around guys i appreciate the continued support thanks for watching as always see you in the next one